I don't want to paint beautiful people. I don't want to make beautiful. I could paint potatoes and flowers and stuff like that and give it to the world. What is it? It's a potato. What is it? It's a flower. And just leave it as it is. But my idea is to actually create these images and use these images to bring so many stories out there. Hi, I'm Kojima Fu. I'm a visual artist from Ghana. Living in the West, there's a lot going on, a lot to influence everyone, a lot to kind of uplift everyone too, and a lot to put people down. We see a lot of people, some sitting there begging, some running like their life is on the line or something like that. And you get all sort of ideas and um, it inspires me. I mean, the city gives me a lot of ideas. You have to present a story, it's hard. How are you gonna tell the story so that it doesn't relate to the person directly? Because most most often people talk about people's stories and then you'll be thinking and thinking, who is he talking about? Why is he? So I try as much as I could to actually not connect exactly to the person, but sometimes it could be the title of the artwork that will have a connection. The Guardian actually is about how a mother who had like three children been made homeless, but she's not homeless. She talk about homelessness, but she's not homeless. She's got a place. She's not sleeping on the street. So when you hear these stories, I'm homeless, and you start asking, so where is she living? And then you find out that she's in a shelter or homeless accommodation or something. And then I started asking myself, what is homelessness in this place? So she becomes the guardian and then kind of like protecting the children. Even though she doesn't feel at home in where she lives, she's actually, the children feel at home because she's there and she's protecting them. So a lot of times, People look at it and they'll be like, what are you trying to do? And I was like, I'm trying to start a conversation, a conversation about social issues. You don't have to actually confront me direct, but you could go home and then discuss it with somebody and then try and get your head around what I'm trying to actually project. The main reason be behind me applying very strong colors is um, I want the artwork to draw people in. Um, I want people to actually look at the artwork and they're like, what is that? So it draws you in and then you read the title and you're like, what is he implying? What, what is this? What's his problem? What is this guy trying to... That kind of things I'm trying to create. I'm trying to create something that I could start a conversation. Basically, that's all my work is about. To start a conversation, let's talk about it. Let's talk about this issue. Let's talk about that issue. So, yes, the colors are there to actually draw people in. And then when it draws you in, then the conversation begins. You can't escape from politics. Politics is everywhere. So I realized that, you know what, I live in this system. I'm part of it, I'm part of the problem, I'm part of everything. So now it is time for me to actually also speak up and then talk about these issues. I may not be able to change millions of people's mind, but I could actually change some few people to understand that there is good people in this world. And I want to be that kind of guy who will always promote that mindset.